Hey guys, coming at you with a new video today. This is going to be a review of the TriStar Arista over under shotgun. Now, uh, I gotta say, I've taken this gun out a few times, and I just, I'm just i in love with this shotgun. Uh, the, I got this recently started uh, about two or three years ago, hunting upland birds here in Kansas uh, while, while I've been stationed here. And uh, the first year I just used my old pump shotgun, and the more I hunted, the more I realized that I really enjoyed upland hunting, so I went ahead and went out and spent a little bit of money and got me a nice over-under shotgun to go do it with. So going into the review of this gun. Awesome walnut stock, happy with it. Very easy to take down. As you can see, there's a lever on the bottom of the foregrip there. You pull that down, it comes down, tears apart. You break the barrel down, barrel comes off and you can take it completely apart like that to store it, clean it, transport it, whatever you wanna do. Goes back together in the opposite direction. You put the barrel on, you snap the fore, uh, the forend, foregrip, whatever you wanna call it back on and you're good to go. Uh, currently for upland hunting, I have a modified choke on top and a cylinder choke on bottom. Uh, I do that because I usually shoot my bottom barrel first for any, any birds that are up close, take one out, and then you've got a tighter barrel on top so that if they're a little bit further out, you can reach out there with a little more accuracy and uh, knock them out of the sky if you need to. The Trasha Arista has, does not have extractors, it has the, uh, I can't remember what their, their technical term is, but it doesn't actually shoot the shells out, it just makes it easier to pull the shells out, so uh, I will say that's probably my least favorite feature about this shotgun. I like, a, uh, I like a gun that throws the shells out when I'm done with it, but it does make it easier for cleanup while you're hunting on public land, I will say. You know, not have them thrown out behind you 10 feet, and then you've got to walk back and pick them up and try to remember where your bird fell. But uh, moving on from that, close it up here. Show you guys the safety. This safety here, down is safe, up is ready to go, right? So if you can see here, off to the left side and the right side, you've got your over and under. So with you, your under barrel is gonna shoot first with the first trigger pull because this is a one trigger double barrel. So your first pull is gonna shoot your under barrel, your second pull is gonna shoot your over barrel. If you go down and to the left and back up, now your over barrel is gonna shoot first. So I keep mine again on the under. so that my second shot can be accurate. It's got a tighter choke on top, so I'm a little more accurate with it. I've got a little bit tighter choke on top so I can reach out a little bit further. It's just a perfect combination for upland bird hunting, uh, like pheasants, quail, you know, stuff like that, for those of you that uh, don't know what upland birds are. I've also used this a couple of times for rabbits uh, because, I mean, it just holding the gun up, aiming it, shooting it, it's just comfortable, it does well. Uh, it really just feels like an extension of your body. Uh, and I know saying that about a, what some people would call a budget over-under shotgun, uh, they might laugh at that. But to me, aiming this, pointing this, and shooting this, it just it feels like it's a part of me. I feel like I'm more accurate and more deadly with this shotgun than I am you know, with just a, a pump-action shotgun or something different from this. Uh, as you can see, I've already banged up the walnut stock a little bit. That is one thing that I don't love. This stock is very easy to scratch. These scratches came from uh, actually just thorns that were uh, a little bit high up. We were going through some brush trying to get after some quail, and uh, some thorns reached up, scratched my stock up a little bit, but that's all right. Adds a little bit of uh, character to the rifle. This one I got is in 20 gauge, uh, three inch chambers. Other than that, there's nothing really else to talk about it. It's a pretty basic shotgun. It's a nice shotgun. I love it. Uh, as you, well, there's one more thing that I can talk about before we go here. So, as you can see here, you got this beautiful design on the sides here. 
there's some, like, I don't know, I don't believe that this is real gold inlay, but it may be. I don't know, I'd have to look into it. But you've just got a nice little gold-looking inlay right through there. Looks really nice on the rifle. Uh, and I will say this, these guns to be mass-produced, they do look really, really good for what they are. Uh, I paid 650 bucks for this one. Pretty good deal for these shotguns. They're usually right around the 7 to 750 mark. I got this one on a pretty good deal from Buds. Uh, very happy with the overall just experience with the with the shotgun. It shoots well. It feels good while you're shooting it. It feels good while you're pointing it. It's not too heavy, so whenever you're carrying it out in the field, you don't feel like you're lugging around a 1860 blunderbuss or anything like that. So uh, I hope you guys like the video. Like I said in a couple of my other videos, trying to get something worked out for you guys so I can get a video camera set up and you can see me actually shoot these guns instead of just talking about them all the time. Uh, I love going shooting, but it's kind of hard for me to set something up for you guys to watch me shoot and film on my own right now. So I'll figure something out eventually, I'm sure though, and uh, get you guys some content of me shooting these rifles, letting you see how they perform and letting you see how deadly I can be while hunting with them. Hopefully, maybe one day, we'll see. Uh, that is a dream of mine on YouTube is to become popular enough that maybe I get paid to go hunt and shoot guns for you guys all day. Give you guys some content to enjoy. But uh hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll get some more content to you guys.